Hey there, what's going on everyone, and welcome to another Fish You, a Fish Talk Tuesday. My name is Pearl Bounty Hunter, and uh, I want to go over something I talked about last week on the show, and um, the reason I'm bringing that up is I am a subscriber to Coral Magazine. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a coral and reef magazine based out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, I believe. But anyways, uh, last week I was talking about how when these Finding Nemo, Finding Dory movies come out, that the price of everything seems to increase a little bit. And it was funny that I brought that up, and then I received this in the mail over the weekend, and they actually have an article talking about price of fish increases over the years. Uh, the article is titled, A Guide to the Pallet Sturgeon Fish. Sorry, Pallet Surgeon Fish. Uh, that's a hippo tang. Uh, the article is by Jay Hemdell. Um, he talks about in 1993 in one of the charts, the uh, price of a hippo tank was $14. In 2015, that's $28, an increase of 100%. Uh, another one, powder blue tank, $26 bucks in 1993, all the way up to $33. In 2015, an increase of 27%. Uh, purple dotty backfish, $3.75. All the way up to 545, increase of 45%. But yeah, uh, I recommend you guys definitely check out Coral Magazine. And uh, like me, I, I really enjoy their publication, so I've subscribed to them. Yeah, another thing I want to talk about is this past Friday was the release of Finding Dory, which the last movie came out in 2005, I believe it was. I, it was on the news. It was like 13 years, which is an incredibly long time for a sequel, but. This is kind of that day and age where they're making all these movie sequels, you know, 20, 30 years after the movie came out, trying to reboot the franchises. Yeah, the uh, movie did exceptionally well. Apparently it broke a bunch of records for um, animated film grossing, opening day, and, and, you know, different things like that. I haven't checked it out yet. I plan on doing that sometime this week. Um, other than that, you know, if you're watching uh, the video, not listening to my voice, uh, you're going to see that my tank's still kind of dirty, and that's because I never got a chance to clean it last week. I was awfully busy with everything going on, but I'm going to be doing that later on today. But yeah, back on the topic of uh, Finding Dory, Finding Nemo there. Uh, I find it interesting that this time around they're actually putting a real emphasis on these fish belonging in the ocean. You know, that they're not really beginner pets or, or anything like that. You should just respect them by keeping them out in the ocean. Um... Yeah, I, I know I'm kind of contradicting myself right now because I have them as pets and I'm showing you them as my pets. But I don't know, I don't really think of it as being a pet. I think of it as a, a pet, an experience, a hobby, all these different things wrapped into one. I mean, it's something every single day that I can spend countless hours staring at and I would never get bored with. Uh, you know, I can't see myself getting bored with it now. I've been in the hobby for seven, eight years. I mean, I've had fish my whole life, but I just, I don't see it ever ending. I, I just enjoy it too much. Watching something that you place inside of a tank, say you buy something for $10 and watching it grow over the period of five years and become this magnificent piece that's 10 times the size and 20 times the value of what it was when you originally got it. Either way, I just think it's something truly remarkable, especially living where I live in New England. I mean, you go out to the beach, you don't see fish with color like this. You don't see coral where I live. It's something that, you know, it's a little slice of paradise close to home. But yeah, um, that's going to about wrap it up for this week's episode of Fish Talk Tuesday. This fish you, however you want to call it. Um, if you guys want to keep listening to me call it fish you, then drop a comment down below. Uh, also, please let me know what you guys have for tanks. Let me know what size tanks you have. Send in your pictures. I'd love to see them. I'd love to showcase them on the show. And thank you very much for all the continued support. I will be catching everybody next week on another episode of Fish Talk Tuesday. Once again, I'm Pro Bounty Hunter, and thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more content like this or check out the other videos on my channel, please do. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next week, my friends, don't forget to keep it salty.